As many of you know, I've been working on a BMS for the past few weeks. A BMS that should be easy to use, easy to install, and also it has to have a, a reasonable price. Today I'm going to show you the alpha version, the working alpha version of that BMS. Stick around. Greetings to all and welcome back to this channel. As I mentioned before, I've been working really hard for the past few weeks to put together a BMS uh, of my own design, my own concept, my own software, everything. And the whole idea is to create something that's going to protect you, your family, and your investment. I'm going to show you today the, one of the basic functions that this BMS has. I think it's the most important one, the one that's going to protect your battery for under voltage usage. But before we get, I want to to remember you that we are still working on the series the solar energy system step by steps we already have three videos that explains a lot about the basics of a solar energy system for your house and how to design it how to calculate everything and we are currently working on the other videos that are going to explain the panels that I'm going to use how to put together a power box using this kit which is the only kit that you need ever in your life it's the faster one and price is good enough so so just to let you know, it's not that I'm selling it, it's because it's the best and you know it. So anyway, just wanted to clarify that we're going to get into those videos that are going to explain everything, the putting together the batteries, how am I choosing and pick and choose the batteries, the cells, the 18650, the panels. So hopefully you're going to like that. But without further ado, let me just show you the new baby, the new family member. It's right here. It's right here. Just, that's it. That's the new family member right here. This is the BMS app that I have, which is connected to a cloud-based server, which is giving me data of a, a fake battery that I have right here. It is fake because I need to be able to lower and to manipulate the voltage to test the code on two modules. But not only that, I also have a local application de deployed on my computer, which I'm gonna show you really fast. And just to show you a little something, here is my cell phone, here's the computer. As you can see, if I click here on the computer, the app is going to change the state. I can turn it off, turn it on. If I want to turn it off over here, I just click here and that's it. Just to show you that this is not a trickery or, or video trick, I'm going to disconnect this from the internet on my house. And let me zoom in really fast. As you can see, I am connected to my network, which is right here. No Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth, no nothing. Everything is turned off. So let's go back to it. So if I want to disconnect or turn on the battery, I just click here and it still have a connection. So basically I could just walk around anywhere on the world and this power box is going to be connected to BMS, which is also going to be connected to the cloud and you can turn on and turn off as much as you like. It's the same here on the computer. If you can just came home and you want, you know, check your computer, see how everything's doing. One thing I want to show you that it's not yet programmed, but it's something that you are going to be able to see. It's going to be your packs, you know, how balanced they are, how good they look, what's the voltage on each of them. This is one of the features that I want to introduce into the BMS. So let me just turn off this really fast. Right now, my battery is set to cut down the voltage on 20 volts. So I'm going to change that to 22. I'm going to hit save. And right now, since we are on 2137, it's going to be under voltage. So if I try to turn on the battery like here, it's not going to allow me. I need to change this. It's not on the code yet, but it's not going to allow it. But let me just let me just take you here down here. One second. So. Right now, I have a fake battery, which is this one right here. And let me just take the voltage up. As you can see, here is 22. And also on the computer, it's 22. So the, the voltage is just about the same. Now, if I want to turn off the battery, I can do that. And also, if I want to turn it off from my house, I could do that. So if I am in the house and I, can, I want to turn on the computer, uh, the battery pack, I can just do it. But if I went out and I see that my compute my battery it's going to be under voltage i could just turn it off but let's say that you forgot to turn off the battery but you already have a set voltage or low voltage on 22 let's assume that the battery is losing the voltage 
You see, as soon as it hits 22 or under 22, it's going to be cut off. Now, if the person tries to turn it on, it's not going to be able to do it because, you know, it's under voltage. So let me bring that up again. If I turn it on, there you go. Turn it off. Now, I'm going to, on my computer, set the battery voltage to 21.5. Let me just hit save. Let me turn it on. So I'm going to go on the voltage. There you go. 21.27. So this is one of those features that it is very important for me. So something that simple. And I just wanted to show you that because, you know, like I said, it is important to protect your investment. So there you go. This is one of those things that I've been working on. It's It's been hard because I have to synchronize the data, not only from the so local server and read the modules from read the voltage, but also to deploy the data on an app and see that data on a computer, which is what you have right here. At the end of the day, it is important to have this type of BMS because you want to protect your system. It is an alpha version, so it's, it is not ready to start selling it yet and, and to deploy it, but we're getting there. Now the next steps is to design the circuits that, that you are going to use and keep adding functions to it like balancing, uh, reading the voltage from individual packs, also sensor, like temperature sensor, everything that you could possibly imagine, I want to be able to have it for you guys. One of the things that I want to explain is that there are BMS out there that might have an app, but they just work if you are close to it. I want to make sure that if you walk out of the, the house and you want to turn on the system, you could do that. And you don't have to be connected either to the Bluetooth or to the Wi-Fi or your house. I want to make sure that you have control, like total control of your system, but not only that, to the house. So let's say that in the future you add a module that is going to be controlled by the BMS and you went out of the house and you forgot to turn off that light. Let's say you have a light on and you walk out of the house. And I want to make sure that you get to turn it off just like that on off so the bms is going to be that it's going to be this system that is not only for your battery but it's also going to be for your house so there you go that is why it's been it's taken so long to design and, and create something because i need to have like a base a really solid base to start working on the other ingredients and features for this bms so that's it for today i really hope that you guys like it and you are excited about this the way i am leave your comment below let me know what you guys think about this and if you like it if not just you know let me know also leave a like Share the video, subscribe if you haven't. And remember that we are running a 10% discount for the best DIY Powerwall battery kit ever. Like there's not even one that gets close to how fast you get to build this. So go to DIYBatteryStore.com and enter the code DIY10 and you are going to get 10% on the entire order on this. That's it for today. God bless you all. And remember, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Remember that. See you later, guys. Bye.